Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the two phase flow series. In this video, we are going to talk about electrohydrodynamic instability. Electrohydrodynamic instability modeling is an important problem in fluid mechanics and today we are going to learn about it. I have taken a simple example from a research article. So here it they have shown how column forms under electric field from a thin liquid polymeric sur surface. So here they have taken a liquid and that is subjected to a, an electro electric field like you can see here they have put some electric field shy one here and at the top they have grounded and that is why across this vertical line it experiences Maxwell stresses and due to Maxwell stresses it forms columns like this and if you see those columns are periodic in nature that means after certain distance you get another column in every direction. So if you look at this one so you have surrounded you have many columns surrounded by and this column formation again and again I'm telling that happens due to the Maxwell stresses just to recapitulate, I have taken the matrix for the Maxwell stress where you can see there are nine components of stress. Those are Txx, Txy, Txz and in the y direction Tyx, Yy, Yz and in the z direction Zx, Zy and Zz. So in explicit form, those are the expressions for Txx, Tyy tzz, txy, txz and tyz. So for this particular case we don't have any magnetic field so all the terms bx, by and bz is zero for our case. So we only have the first terms. So those things we will be putting in our COMSOL simulation today and we will be actually solving electro, electric, uh, solving the hydrodynamic flow under Maxwell stresses. So let me go to the console window. I'll be modeling this today. So I take a two dimensional problem and I'll be taking fluid flow. So if I go to fluid flow, uh, it would be a multi-phase flow because we will be having air and a polymer or water. And in the multi-phase flow, I will be taking level set. So you can see this is the level set. I will be taking laminar flow level set. And for the electric field, I will be taking electrostatics. Then I will be going to study. There is a default study for this particular level set and that is time dependent with phase initialization. You should remember it. This is the default study designed by COMSOL. So whenever you are dealing with level set, you should go for this particular study. So I double click here and it will lead me to the main window. So in the main window, we can see we have included laminar flow, level set and electrostatics. So initial task is to create the geometry. I will be working in the micrometer domain because one thing I should tell you is this electrohydrodynamic instability that happens at a very low length scale. So if you take dimensions in meter you don't expect any deformation or you the deformation would be microscopic and hence you will not be seeing anything in macroscope. So we should work in the domain of either nanoscale or at least microscale. So I'll be working in the microscope domain. So I right click, I take one rectangle, say the height of the rectangle is 2 and the width say 20. So let me take it. Okay, I'll make a duplicate of this rectangle. And this one, let's say half of the previous one. Basically, I am dividing two liquids. So I will have water or a polymer 
and on the top I will have air so I am basically making spaces so that I can put water and air separately I will also take another rectangle so what I can do I can just replicate another rectangle and let me make it say 4 yeah that's better I will duplicate this one again and put similar rectangle at the right hand side so say it stays it starts from 16 okay so that that became symmetric now now the next task would be to add material so I right click on material go to add material I will be looking for say water so I search for water uh, water liquid this one I added so water will be at the bottom so I choose the bottom now again I right click and from the add material library again uh, water is not being shown let me choose water once again one minute okay uh, sorry for the technical glitch so uh, I have actually included water and air here if, if you can see air has been added on the top part and water has been added at the bottom part now I should go for electro electrostatics initially let me define the I right click here and I put electric potential at the bottom say at the bottom I put 400 volt and At the top so electric potential again I can put it zero so across this there will be an electric field and this electric field will be a stationary problem so I can choose stationary from here now if we solve for the electric field it will be giving me the distribution of electric field potential but along with electric field I need to solve for the laminar flow and that's why I go to laminar flow and I right click there and choose one inlet so these inlets are necessary for the continuity of the equation so we are assuming that the fluid is flowing from the left to the right with a very slow velocity and we are putting an electric field at the vertical direction so while the water jet or the thin film flows very slowly it experiences uh, Maxwell stress along the vertical direction and because of that it deforms so let's say this is inlet say inlet velocity is 0 0.001 and we choose another inlet for the air so again another inlet say at the top again the velocity says 0 0.001 so now I'll choose another outlet so those things which are coming from the inlet should go to the outlet for both the outlets I have atmospheric pressure condition that's why I have taken only one outlet but two inlets similarly in the level set also I need to put inlet and outlet so I right click there and click on inlet I choose this part so again I choose another inlet I choose the top part now one thing I have to understand water I will be defining as fluid 1 so water so this is fluid 1 so the this would be fluid 2 as the bottom one is water the top one is air so I am defining fluid 2 as air now in the level set also I need to put an outlet so the entire part would be outlet so in the outlet we don't need to define anything because 
it will be defined by the situation of the simulation or situation of the flow so things are almost defined so i need to define the initial values because in the level say there are two initial values so initial value 1 and initial value 2 initial value 2 let us define air in the initial value 2 so you can see this is fluid 2 and this part is fluid 1 so yeah this is defined now i have to go to the two phase flow level set in the coupling multiphysics coupling option and i need to define the material domain properly otherwise it will create problem so fluid 1 say i have to define the fluid one is water it is better to define specifically uh, you can also choose dom domain material but it creates confusion for me that's why i specifically define domain one material is fluid one and my fluid one is water similarly fluid two is air so and then you take the properties from the material and the material property is given in the material section now everything we have given but we have not yet defined the force the force which will be experienced by the maxwell stresses because of the electric field that we need to put here so if you remember this particular section so here i have shown there are stresses and the divergence of this stress will give you the forces along x y and z direction so if i take a divergence this particular row will give me the fx term this particular row will give me the fy and this particular one give me the fz for two dimension i will only have these four options and for that my x direction would be force would be coming from these two things and my y direction force will be coming from this too. So all those things I need to define in COMSOL. So for that, what I have done is I have I have defined all the thing in a text file. So initially let me take that text files. So this as a parameter I have defined. So this is parameter of air so this one and this is parameter of poly which is air now so the bottom one now i need to go to the definition i have to click on the variable and the variables are again defined here so this is the variable part uh, so this would not be tpf this would be ls because it's defined in ls i am coming to this point okay so this term 1 1 is nothing but this txx if you see in the txx we basically have this half epsilon 0 into e x square minus e y square minus e z square basically the same thing we have taken here so the, if you can see this is basically the same thing Similarly, T Y Y is defined as T 2 2 and it is given here. Similarly, T X Y is given as T 1 2 and the expression is defined here. And T 2 1 is T Y X and again we defined it here. So the F X is taken as dive, you can see the derivative divergence basically. Derivative of T 1 1 with respect to X and T 1 2 with respect to y again if you look at here i told that fx will come from this row and fy will come from this row the same thing is defined in this particular section now definition of this epsilon r is very important when the fluid will deform then the distribution of material 1 and material 2 will vary with respect to time and as it varies the effective epsilon at the at the middle section will also vary and that is why epsilon r is defined as ls vf1 vf1 means volume fraction of fluid 1 multiplied by epsilon of fluid 1 
then ls dot vf2 that means volume fraction of the fluid 2 multiplied by the epsilon of the fluid 2 material and that you have to define in the electrostatics charge conservation also in the charge conservation you need to define your relative permittivity it is now taking from material but it should not be the case we have to define it as user define and I define it as epsilon underscore r so now most of the things are defined I need to go okay I have already changed those things now I need to do the meshing I need to solve this for a very I have an idea about the time scale so it let us solve it for say 0 to 1 e minus 5 2 e minus 4 so for this we have to solve I hope most of the things are defined some properties are not defined here that's why cross symbol is being shown okay the density of water is not I don't know why let's put it 1000 and the viscosity say 0.001 so I hope now the things are defined yeah let's hope for the best now I can just try to running it there might be some errors but if it uh, if the errors are coming we will try to rectify it so I click on compute so it has started computing it will take a lot of time I will just ensure there is no error and after that I will show you the result right away which I have already simulated because two phase simulations along with electric field it will take a lot of time sometimes it takes three four hours and hence uh, it's very difficult so you can see the simulation has started it is giving two con uh, con uh, convergence plots and yeah simulations there is no mistake it is running um, properly so now it's running for the segregated solver but segregated solver will also work because electrostatics does not depend on the uh, fluid flow so even if I take segregated solver it should work otherwise if you want to go for the uh, fully coupled one then you have to go here in the solver configuration then solution then time dependent solver and you have to right click there and you have to choose the fully coupled option then it will be fully coupled so here I am stopping about the simulation now I am showing you the result which I have already simulated uh, might be this yeah that was a old file but I have simulated the same I just want to show you the deformation after you simulate you will be getting something like this so this is how the fluid will deform under electric field and it will gradually form columns the way I have shown here in this particular diagram so in two dimension you can see the column formation is taking place with respect to time and this is happening under the Maxwell stresses which we have defined in our variable section so I hope you will be able to implement this particular file just follow this video and try to implement it it may be useful for your uh, research so if you are liking our videos kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your peers so that we get more motivation to upload videos